from Silicon Valley to Shanghai and everywhere in between, innovation is happening no matter where we turn. Here's a snapshot of some exciting new technologies in development around the world. We first travel to Tokyo, Japan for some innovation in fabrication. Researchers at the University of Tokyo have developed a method called Expand Fab that uses heat to create 3D objects. The objects are made of a special mix of foam powder and elastic adhesive. The user specifies what they want to create and how large they want it to become using design software. Then, a 3D printer prints the object and cures it with ultraviolet light layer by layer. When heated, the printed object will grow up to three times its original size. Expand Fab allows engineers to develop products that morph into different shapes over time, which can make them easier to package. It also allows for customization and personalization that simply isn't possible using current manufacturing techniques. We move along to Brooklyn, New York, home to a startup helping us all speak the same language. Waverly Labs has developed the Ambassador, a pair of earbuds that can translate 20 languages on the fly. The device uses a high fidelity microphone that accurately captures what a person is saying and uploads it into the cloud. There, a neural network detects the language they're speaking and returns a translation of it in the user's language of choice. The Ambassador uses Bluetooth connectivity to sync multiple earpieces to a single smartphone so group conversations are quick and easy. The device is also worn over rather than inside the ear, making it more hygienic to share while on the go. By breaking down language barriers between us, the Ambassador makes international travel a more enjoyable and rewarding experience. And speaking of wearables, our last stop in Germany features one that gamers everywhere are sure to love. This is the Beacon, a diamond-shaped device that turns a part of the player's body into a second game controller. The user simply attaches the Beacon to their foot or wrist and syncs it to their gaming device. When the player moves that body part in a certain direction, the beacon carries out a specific command in the game. For example, when the player taps their foot, the beacon will make their character jump. And when they tilt their foot to the right, their character will move to the right as well. The beacon allows gamers to perform more actions in the game than they could with a single controller. It also helps gamers with physical disabilities who can't use typical game controllers. The beacon might take gamers a little getting used to, but before long, they'll be gaming like pros. And that's our wrap of the top innovations from around the world.